Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. A little bit of a different view today. Obviously you can see the camera is not positioned right here and we're not staring at my, uh, my screen. You're actually looking at directly at me. So today you're probably thinking, what the hell is he gonna be telling us today? Well, in today's video, I'm hopefully going to help you get a better driving position. I'm just using a few little tools like your mobile phone and just the old trusty tape measure. Um, hopefully you can get a better position to drive for doing longer stints, endurance races, and just hopefully coming out from having done a good session on your rig and not being too stiff through your back. Uh, I've suffered with long-term back pains and Getting a better driving position can be really helpful. We're not all young and able-bodied anymore and we do enjoy sitting playing these things for a long period of time. So if we can sit there and be a little bit more comfortable, hopefully that benefits us all. So hopefully you find this video interesting and hopefully there's a few little tips uh, to help you get a better driving position. So without further ado, let's have a look at what we can use. So as you can see here, just using any mobile phone, I'm sure most mobile phones have got these apps on them. So we're just going to choose the compass. And obviously you sometimes go through that calibration process and just twisting it around to get it set. But from the compass, we can just swipe to the other side and you can get this gyroscopic level. Well, from sitting in my own car, just rest my foot on the accelerator pedal and just place the phone on your leg to give you the angle of your resting leg. It's about 16 degrees and that's what I, I think it was 17 degrees in my own car. So that gives you an idea of where you want, your foot wants to be resting. Without doing all lots of measurements and things we, we can get a really good position. I mean, I drive a BMW and I'm sure BMW have spent thousands and thousands of pounds on uh, research into driving positions to get the best ergonomically sound driving position. So just by taking a leaf out of their own book, I just went with what feels comfortable and having driven my own car for nearly six years, I'm sure BMW have done a really good job with it. So you can test the level, the brake pedal is slightly higher so just bring your foot across. That's jumped hugely. So from 13 degrees, that's better, to 24 degrees, which was about right for my own car. And you could also look at, so you can also just have a look at, at doing it on the seat as well, getting the seat in the right angle. I mean, it, obviously it differs as you go down. And obviously there's the back of the seat as well. I looked at the, I mean, the back of mine on my BMW is 10 degrees at the bottom of the seat, which is really important. This is where you're getting all the lumbar support really, which is all through this section here. And it goes to about 24 degrees in my BMW, so it's a bit further laid back. But what I've done at the bottom, I mean, I have ordered a support for the bottom, but I just use a bit of, because um, obviously once I'm pressed into the back of there, you get a much better angle. So I just use a bit of back support, lower down. So we'll just look at other areas that you can use the mobile phone to measure and just give you some other angles that might be beneficial. The other thing I did was when my hands were on the wheel, just resting this on the arm in a relaxed position. And then having a little look, 20 is the exact same one that it is in my BMW. Another good thing that I did was from my chest to the steering wheel, just, just holding out a measure and it was 35 centimeters, but that's bang on 35 centimeters. In my BMW it was 30. So I'm about here, but obviously the screen, the screen's totally different and I just feel, I, I mean that's next to no difference at all, 30 centimetres, 
but I just felt too close to the monitor. So I just angled myself back a little bit. That's 34 centimeters to the wheel center from my chest. I mean, this is for sim racing. This isn't for driving on a racetrack. So we're trying to get as much comfort as we can in, in, a, in a comfortable environment. You're not racing. You don't need good alignment for the spine in the event of an accident, which is what all cars or race cars are predominantly looking for, they're looking at saving injury. Well, we're not bothered about getting chucked about left and right, but it's not gonna happen while we're sat here. We're not gonna be involved in any sort of crash at all. So what we're trying to get is good posture in the rear, so pushing, pushing your bum right the way back in the seat and then sitting upright so you've got the wheel. Maybe slouch down just a tiny bit to get yourself relaxed. But you're wanting a bit to have the feet nice and relaxed on the pedals. A little bit of a bend in the arm. You don't want to be like, you know, getting the seat, getting all gangster and reclining all the way back so you're driving like this for two hours. It's going to be really hard going on the shoulders so you just want to be nice and upright, not too upright, but in a good position that you've got a nice bend in the arms to be able to move the wheel. You're not hitting the legs with any movement. But hopefully using, using the um, trusty old tape measure, and everyone's got one of these, surely in the film everything's used using these gyroscopic things, uh, the angle on the wheel. You could even do the angle on the steering wheel if you want, just to get it at that exact same angle. But I just thought I'd share how I went about building my rig and how I went around setting everything. I mean, even the gear sticks, exactly where it is in my BMW, the, the distance, you know, my hand barely needs to move to get from one to the other. Not that I use this, this has probably been the biggest waste of money um, I've spent in my sim racing really. I just don't use it at all, I don't use the clutch pedal. Uh, I'm so used to driving with the paddles as I do in my own car if I, move, if I switch to manual. I've just really not even ventured down using, so I've not been practicing any, as, although I'm left foot braking. I've not had a go at heel towing. Generally I'm left foot braking and I've started left foot braking in my own car as well. So hope you find that useful guys. Thanks again and see you, uh, see you on the track. So some of you out there will probably want a more laid down driving position. Uh, something more like your Formula One driver. And the play seat's got this in abundance really. I'm not sure how comfortable the seat is. It doesn't look particularly comfortable to myself. But if that's what you're interested in, then um, that's probably the best approach for you. The next slides that follow are just about trying to be a little bit more relaxed in your driving and how you can set up a more ergonomic approach. So as you can see from the previous slides, they're very much a relaxed driving position. A rally driver or a GT3 driver sits in a very different position, but you get the idea. A lot goes into seating positions. So enjoy the rest of the slides and hope you enjoyed the video.